Now, the South African Communist Party has briefed the media on its plenary session outcomes. The briefing comes ahead of the 30th Chris Honey annual commemoration at Constitution Hill in Johannesburg. The SACP also touched on the arrest warrant of Russian President Vladimir Putin issued by the ICC and his impending visit to South Africa later this year. A reporter and fellow anchor here at ENC, Heidi Jokos, is following that story for us. He's joining us now on today. Good afternoon, Heidi. Thanks for your time. Now, what is the party's position on this ICC warrant of arrest that's been issued to, for the Russian president? Well, the SACP is very clear, Bradan. They believe that the charges against uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin are frivolous. They do believe that the ICC uh, is basically attacking Russia and its president. Um, what the SACP has come out to say strongly is that they believe that the ICC has neglected a number of other crimes, humanitarian crimes, that they believe should have had more focus on. Uh, the SACP says that, for example, the ICC has failed to arrest the likes of uh, Barack Obama, um, Bill Clinton, and a number of other uh, world leaders, and they have just solely focused on uh, the Russian president. Uh, the question was also posed as to whether or not they, are, uh, they understand the severity of some of the crimes that have been committed um, in Ukraine and what exactly is going on and the fact that lives have been lost because of this war that's currently underway. And uh, the SACP says, but that cannot be, uh, the, the blame cannot solely be put on the Russian president. And this is why they believe those charges are frivolous. They believe that the ICC is not acting uh, morally and there's clearly an agenda. Let's listen to what uh, Soli Mapeala had to say from the SACP about this. On the ICC arrest warrant for President Putin, we say, down with judicial imperialism. The SACP rejects the arrest warrant issued by the International Cr Criminal Court based in The Hague, Netherlands. The arrest warrant, based on frivolous charges, comes on the eve of an important proposal for peace in Ukraine by President Xi Jinping during his state visit to Russia and the BRICS summit due to be hosted in South Africa. The International Criminal Court was established by, to try individuals charged with the gravest crimes of concern in the international community, genocide, war crimes, crimes against humanity, and the crime of aggression. Unfortunately, imperialist powers continue to manipulate this multilateral institution and use it for judicial imperialism. It's a serious accusation against the ICC, judicial imperialism. That's a new political term, Heidi. But I see that the Communist Party is also proposing something about this to the South African government regarding its role and membership of the ICC. Yes, I actually posed the question to the SACP as as to how they expect government uh, to handle uh, the possible arrival of the Russian president in August, as we do know that South Africa is the host of the BRICS summit, and Russia, of course, has to be present as it is part of the BRICS summit. Uh, what we have heard from the SACP is that they believe uh, government should not act in a way that uh, the Russian president is arrested, therefore not arresting him, despite this, um, this uh, warrant of arrest issued by the ICC. Uh, the SACP going as far as saying that South Africa must withdraw from the ICC as they believe that um, the ICC never acts fairly. And as you heard from the SACP saying that these charges are frivolous and there are more pressing matters uh, and evidence before the ICC, yet they have not acted against uh, the lives that have been lost in other countries where uh, there, have be there has been war. So uh, very strong um, you know, kind of comment coming from the SACP saying that government must immediately and urgently withdraw its membership from the ICC. Whether or not that's going to happen, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, th there's pressure mounting uh, as to what the South African government is actually going to do come August when we are the host of the BRICS summit and whether or not the Russian president will actually arrive here uh, in South Africa for that summit. Let's listen to the SACP once again on this matter. Our proposal is that, yes, the government, firstly, the national executive, that is cabinet, 
And of course, they, they, they have all the possibilities and the political wisdom and the, um, the executive authority uh, given to, to them by the Constitution. They should immediately withdraw from the ICC. And equally, as they withdraw, explore other mechanisms to create the safe passage for President Putin to come and participate in the BRICS summit. We must not allow the imperialist forces to create our country as a new ground for their uh, uh, wars. They want to use this platform in our country to continue their fight. But the biggest issue is that they are afraid of BRICS and what BRICS is becoming. 